Joining me now ahead of the first ever APFC women's bout in promotional history, it's Michaela Parker ready to take on Kyla Pitts. How are you feeling a few weeks out now? I feel really good. I'm excited. You know, this has been a long time coming in my MMA career, so uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of firsts, a lot of um, cool new things. Thank you for taking the time and doing this interview. So um, we're getting in the work. Just get me there. That's really what I'm thinking. <laughs> so usually this early in your career, you wouldn't have a fan base as strong as you do. But through Traction Online, it seems like a lot of people are excited about this one. Uh, why do you think that is? Wait, I have, I have a fan base? <laughs> well, um, you know, I was actually really curious, too. I think, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but I'm flattered. Thank you for everybody that commented and supported me already. Um, I, I think that people see my passion when I'm at the gym and, you know, they know how much that means to me and how much I love sharing that with other people. And so when I'm at the gym, I'm sharing that with everybody as, as much as I can learning, you know, um, just helping them through because that's really what has helped me. So, so how much has your training changed in the gym now, knowing that you're actually preparing for a bout as opposed to your usual training? Oh, I thought you were going to ask, uh, moving from Muay Thai to MMA, but from training, like now that I have a fight, I, I don't know. I train every, I train how I train. Um, I'm excited for the fight. Obviously there's a lot more uh, pressure that I'm excited about that gets me going, but I think the baseline structure of my training has always been there. It's just the intensity is now, you know, picking up for a couple of weeks before we get, get into June. How are you liking the transition from the more Muay Thai base? Oh, I love it. I think, you know, Muay Thai will always be my love and near and dear to my heart. But I think the mental challenge of grappling and the ground game is something that I am very interested in. And just I'm fascinated by constantly learning and improving. And I think it's a chess game. So um, that's where I'm at on that. Have you given any thought to what it means to be the first ever women's bout in APFC history? It's not often that people get opportunities like that. No, you know, I, I honestly didn't even know until I saw the posts on Instagram. So um, I was hugely flattered and I thought that that was really, really amazing. And um, I'm honored to do that, especially considering what my personal goals are and where I am. Um, I definitely see uh, women coming into the gym more often and doing more martial arts and you know, getting after it in male dominated sports and different passions. And I am beyond grateful and elated to be able to do that for the first time for uh, you guys here. But for me, it's getting those women inspired to follow their own passions. And that's really what I'm excited about. So who are you preparing within the gym? Who are some of the bodies that are helping you get ready for this one? Well, everybody, all of my training partners are, um, I've got Rachel Martinez, who has been helping me a lot on my wrestling and my ground game. I've got Mikey uh, Barnabies, who's been really helping with my striking and pad holding. Obviously, Coach Alex in the gym every day, giving me those uh, tips and tricks on my grappling and jujitsu. Um, Coach Dan Stigen has been giving me a lot of really great tactics and uh, ways to maneuver myself on the ground to get in good position. So, um, those are definitely my active, really strong people. There's also, you know, the ones that aren't necessarily coaches, but they help you out through, you know, outside of the gym. I mean, fighting in the gym is only like two or three hours, four hours a day if you're really committed, but, you know, it takes a lot more outside of that. So I'm really grateful for the teammates that I have to support me. So how do you envision this fight potentially playing out in your head? And uh, what do you really want to show people when the cage door shut in Milwaukee? Um, I, I mean, I don't really try to plan the future. I think that that's all, you know, up in the air until it happens. You never really know, but I do believe that, you know, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to be prepared. I, um, know my strengths. I know where my weaknesses are and I know how to position myself. So I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun and, um, maybe also surprising myself. Like there's sometimes I come out and I'm like, Oh, I, I actually did that. That's great. Um, and so I'm always looking for, you know, something, something new and exciting. And um, I'm just happy to be able to show that to like my people too, that, you know, they've been asking me, Hey, when are you fighting? When are you fighting? And I haven't really been able to give them an answer yet. 
Um, I was going through some medical things last year through COVID and, and whatnot, but uh, this is the right time. And so I'm really excited to be able to put on a show for everybody. Why now for the transition and, and to take the first fight? Why is this the right time? You know, I uh, am feeling settled in. I had to make some real serious personal changes in my life uh, the last couple months in order to get my scheduling and get my life right for what I need to do and uh, be in the gym and the commitment that that takes. Um, I'm really grateful. My mom has always taught me to be a student athlete my whole life. And, you know, I will always have, like, I work a nine to five job right now. I, I told him I was taking my late lunch. So um, I'm making it work. And I was, I had to work from home now. So that was a huge change that I had to make finding a job that would be compatible with remote work so that I could travel as needed and, you know, get to the gym for my lunch. Um, I also am an avid dog lover. So um, unfortunately, my eldest dog passed away in December. And so that was a little bit of uh, caregiving. I know it's not my, I mean, they're my babies. So uh, I had to spend a little bit more time than I than I wanted caring for him um, through December. So now that I've moved past all of that and, you know, I'm in a good, strong foot, it's game time. It's focusing on my training. It's really digging in. And that's what I like. Tough times often breed the best out of athletes. And it seems like that may have ushered you forward to uh, another, another beginning in this one. So I do want to ask, what do you want to say to your opponent ahead of this one? Obviously you seem very respectful, so I don't anticipate it to, to switch up now, but what would you like to say to her before you guys get in there? <laughs> well, I appreciate you saying that I'm really respectful. I, may I share a little anecdote about just, it'll be like a quick two seconds. Oh, go, but... no, go ahead. Take your time. <laughs> Okay, so just before our call, I, I had my dog, we were taking a walk, and um, there was a gentleman in SUV that apparently he thought he was going to hit me because he turned the corner, then stopped and said, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you and your dog's there, and I go, yeah, what the fuck, Frank, and I like threw my hands up, and he's like, my name's <laughs> not Frank, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just did that, I'm so sorry, like, I, you look like somebody from the gym, like this literally happened maybe an hour ago. And the funny thing is, is that my good friend Frank goes to the gym that's literally like a mile away. So it would totally probable that it was him, but it was not. So I appreciate you saying that I'm respectful, but there's definitely a piece of a part of me that I have to, you know, keep gagged up. But um, I, I would say hi and good luck. And thank you for taking the fight. Like, seriously, I think that like, this is really powerful for us. And I think that um, just not to get too ethereal, but with society, how it is, like, us women need to stick together and we need to go hard with each other. And, you know, there's a lot of respect that comes with fighting. And, you know, I, I hope that, you know, we, we can be friends. But at the end of the day, you know, like, we both know that this is what we're up for, what we're signing up for. And I hope she gives it her all and she knows I'm going to give my all. And, you know, I'm happy to dance with her. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It's very powerful to come together through sports. And it seems like June 11th, we have another opportunity to do so. In closing, I just want to ask you, man, what, what, what are you, what are you most excited for in June? What are you really most excited for in this bout? Mm -hmm. Going from the Muay Thai I mean, background, I I'd assume you would want to well, show uh, some of the striking and then obviously the evolution in the groundwork as well. Oh, for sure. I think like that's where, you know, I've been uh, game planning with my coaches a lot on, you know, where I'm at, because obviously I do have a striking background, but, you know, it's MMA and that's the transition that I've been making. And so that's really where my focus has been. And uh, so I would absolutely love to, you know, get on the ground and show where I'm at on my jujitsu side. Um, but I don't know, like being... I, I'm just excited to be able to show who I really am to the world and be able to share that. Um, and I know that's not really like a specific thing, but uh, yeah, it's just really fun. Like, and I love watching people that are passionate about what they do. And so I'm really excited to do that. And then in hopes that other women want to follow their passions as well. Um, so yeah. 
that's exciting. It, to me. it comes across very genuine. And honestly, I'm very excited to see you in there. APFC five goes down June 11th in Milwaukee. Tickets are available now. Make sure you're following APFC MMA on social medias. Make sure you're following Michaela Parker on social medias. And uh, Michaela, I can't wait to see you in Milwaukee. Yes, please. And my Instagram handle is MacDaddy underscore 311. Don't forget. There it is. Thank you very much. And we'll see you all <laughs> Thank at you guys. APFC five.